Hey guys, this is Skylar. I am completely blind. I'm autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. Today I'm going to try to help some of you guys out. Now, um, I don't know about you, but I have had to, you know, because of my heart condition and my other conditions that I have, um, monthly, I have to go and get my blood drawn at the place, I call it the devil's chamber, you know, it's that place where they, they stick you with needles and they, and they test your blood, they draw your blood to get it tested for things, um, most people call it the lab, but I call it the devil's chamber because I dread going there, anyways, um, and I have really small veins, so getting lab and IV, um, is kind of a pain, no pun intended, um, because of my condition, my veins are like the size of an infant's. They have to use a pediatric size butterfly on me. So I'm going to talk to you about one or a couple ways that I found uh, work to make your veins stand out. All right, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is kind of one that's unorthodox. You probably haven't heard this, um, and you probably won't believe me. Have somebody give you an Indian burn. Seriously, your veins will stand out. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, you might be wondering, well, what is an Indian burn? Indian burn is when somebody takes a hold of your forearm and, like, twist it in opposite, twist your skin in opposite directions. And it kind of it hurts a little bit. Now, the reason that it does that, the reason that Indian burns make your veins stand out is because the friction brings the blood up to the surface of the skin. When you give somebody an Indian burn, that creates friction. And that brings the blood up to the surface of the skin. I, Which is why it will make your veins stand out. So, um, I guess right before, you, right before you go, have your best friend or your mom, in my case, give you an Indian burn, <laughs> if they're willing. And I, please believe me, it works. Science. Now, the next one is kind of, it, it works off of the same principle. If you put oils like eucalyptus or peppermint or camphor um, onto your arm before, before going, it will, again, bring the blood up to the surface of the skin. Camphor and menthol and eucalyptus are what are called rubifacients. A rubifacient is something that brings the blood up to the surface of the skin. Like, I have a jar of Vicks Vapor Rub by my nightstand that I use for a whole bunch of things like anxiety, chest pain, and things like that. But I also use it for pre-blood draw. I, I put it on my wrist right before I go sometimes. And what it does is, like I said, it brings the blood up to the surface of the skin. It's a rubifacient. And it, it contains all those ingredients that I told you, camphor, you know, menthol eucalyptus, that kind of thing. Uh, it, also, sports creams like Bengay, Icy Hot, that kind of thing probably would work. So, yeah. But, the, <laughs> you know, also, you know, you have your orthodox ways like heating pads and things like that. But definitely, if you don't have anybody that's willing to give you an Indian burn, uh, use like something peppermint or eucalyptus or something on your arm before you go and it'll make your veins stand out a little bit. Now there's lots of products you can use. You can use Burt's Bees Original because the Burt's Bees Original uh, lip balm has peppermint in it. So what you can do is you can just put some of that on your arm where you think that they're going to you know, go and it'll make your veins stand out. Also, like I said, you can use Vicks or um, there's a there's a product called Peace of Mind on the Spot Sensory Reliever, and it's by a company called Origins, and it contains menthol, eucalyptus, and uh, basil, and you can get that off of Amazon. So, also, you know, sports patches, the ones that are like, if it smells like you know menthol or or camphor or anything like that. 
it probably has that in it, so you can probably use that. So, you definitely are going to know by the smell. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy this video, and God bless.